I have been printing religiously for the last couple weeks. No droids. Sorry, Mando, but today we're going to be making our very own pit droid. Let's do this. Now these files are from Drawer Division on Etsy. The files are amazing. Everything prints super clean and the included PDF is super helpful. The big thing about this build is I'm going for minimal sanding and finishing. It's a robot after all. First I'm cleaning up the prints, removing any supports, then I'm hitting it with an electric sander and then a coat of filler primer to see where that gets me. I'm not gonna lie, as much as I wanted to do minimal sanding on this thing, some of these layer lines were really bothering me. So I went back in with the electric sander and primer and then a pass of 220 sanding. At this point, I decided I wanted to try two supposedly quick methods of filling in layer lines with minimal sanding. The first is using Bondo filler mixed with acetone to brush on. You mix up some Bondo filler putty and acetone to an almost milkshake consistency and then you just brush it on. Make Make sure you're outside with this stuff because it's super toxic. I hit it with a pass of 220 and then switched over to the electric sander and then 320. This ended up working really well, a coat of filler primer and I'm pretty much where I need to be. For the body, I mixed up some wood filler putty and water to a milkshake consistency, painted it on pretty similar to the Bondo and acetone process. Now here's my Bob Ross moment of the project. <laughs> So the watered down wood filler created this really great texture, so I decided not to sand it down and just paint over it to add to the weathering effect. I hit all the greeblies with some primer and we're good to go there. Painting. I had so much fun painting and weathering this thing. I didn't have a paint scheme going into it, so I was grabbing a bunch of spray paint that I already had. Interestingly enough, he's painted with the majority of Mandalorian pre-Beskar armor paint that I had laying around. I had to give my guy some red kicks. For the eye lens and light, I use this Halloween chrome mask off of Amazon. I traced the 3D printed lens onto the mask, trimmed it to size, and we're good to go. For the light, I use this puck light without its plastic case. I didn't end up using the inner ring to the eye because the puck light fit in perfectly without it. The antennas. I picked up some of these metal dowels, trimmed one down, and they looked awesome without any finish work. All right, time to put this bad boy together. Three things I highly, highly recommend getting are this M6 bolt kit, these M6 drill bits for cleaning out your joint holes, and these barrel nuts. I'll leave links for everything down in the description below. The PDF gives great directions on what size bolt to use. With this kit, I kind of figured it out as I went along. I clear out the joint holes first, then went in with the bolts and cap nuts. For the shoulders and hips, use the barrel nuts, insert those, and then you're ready for the bolts. Add some super glue for the greeblies, and we're almost, almost there. I started the weathering process with some brown acrylic paint mixed with water in this little spray bottle and sprayed the whole thing down, kind of letting gravity do its thing. I then went in and dry brushed it with some brown and burnt umber acrylic paint, watering it down and wiping it down when I needed to. to tell you how much fun I had on this project, the, the painting, the weathering, and really just making it my own. So yeah, my very first droid build. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, everything will be uh, down below in the description. Let me know if you have any questions. And until next time, may the force be with you. <laughs> he's, uh, he's sitting on my lap, my special, special boy. Special pit droid boy. All right. See you guys.